Squarespace courses, Squarespace member sites, or a password protected page. What's the difference between those two things and what should you use for your online program? Squarespace is an awesome one-stop shop for creating a great website and everything else that goes with running a business. With online courses and memberships becoming so popular recently, it's only natural to ask, can I host my course with Squarespace too? The short answer is yes. If you're already using Squarespace for your website, then hosting your course with Squarespace is a great all-in-one option to consider. But do you host your course with Squarespace courses, member sites, or do you use password-protected pages? We're going to dive into the differences between all three of these Squarespace features so you can decide which one will work best for your course or membership or online program. Let's start by talking about Squarespace courses. This is something that we have all been waiting for, a way to actually add your course directly to Squarespace and create unique customer accounts connected to that course. Squarespace courses is a special add-on digital feature that those with a business plan and above using a Squarespace 7.1 website already have access to. You can create and sell your courses directly on the platform, eliminating any concerns about branding and third-party integration. The Squarespace courses interface was created specifically for courses with lessons and modules and is best for teaching information in a structured lesson format. You can offer discounts and promotions, and really it's just like adding a simple page to your website. In fact, you add a courses page the exact same way that you would add a blank page to your website. This is a huge advantage for people who already know the Squarespace platform really well. So working with courses is actually really simple, but the feature itself is also quite scaled back. There's no super fancy features, which makes it really easy to use and get set up with, but that also means that you might be missing some features that you need for your course. So let's go ahead and talk about some pros and cons of hosting your course on Squarespace. One really big pro is that if you're already using Squarespace for your main website, you don't have to go and learn another platform, and it's nice to have everything all under one roof. Along that same line, you might end up saving some money by just having one platform subscription. You can easily sell your course and take payments directly through Squarespace. It's all integrated and super simple to set up. You can choose from a one-time payment, a subscription fee, or even give your course free access, whatever fits your needs. Your course will have the same look and feel as the rest of your website, which keeps everything really on brand, cohesive, and professional. The pages are really easy to build out, and it offers unmatched design capabilities. You have the ability to create rich, contextual lessons with a variety of mediums like files, videos, audio, you name it. It keeps people on your site, so they'll stay at the same address and they won't have to navigate to a different URL. And you can create unlimited courses, which is great for somebody who plans on hosting and teaching a lot of subjects. Now, some of the cons are that it can actually end up being quite pricey, which is something I'll break down coming up next. It does have limited video hosting capabilities, meaning if you wanted to add video above the bandwidth included with your plan, it's going to cost extra. You're limited to 250 lessons per course, which could be a problem for somebody who wants to teach a really complicated subject. And you are missing a few advanced features like quizzes, community forums, certifications, and bulk enrollment, as well as some advanced marketing features like affiliates, order bumps, upsells, and automations. Now, at the end of the day, regardless of what platform you end up choosing, you'll always want to make sure to do your research and figure out what features are absolutely necessary and what features you just want to have in your course before committing to any platform. Now, how much exactly do Squarespace courses cost? Although business plans and above do include the courses feature, that default plan takes a high transaction fee at 9%, and it only includes 30 minutes of video storage when you're uploading a video directly to Squarespace. Now, this does exclude linking a video from YouTube or Vimeo, but for whatever reason, that might not be an option for you. And if your course is going to be longer than 30 minutes, you'll have to pay for a digital product add-on subscription, which can end up being quite pricey. You can see that the professional plan here does have a 0% transaction fee. However, at $89 a month on top of your regular Squarespace plan, it might just not be worth it. However, if you have already decided that Squarespace Courses is the right platform for you, be sure to take a look at our complete guide and video tutorial to setting up your course on Squarespace, which you can find linked below this video.
Now let's go over member sites, which can easily be confused with Squarespace courses. Member sites is another Squarespace add-on where you can have quote unquote gated content behind a paywall or a login. Member sites allow you to create a member only area on your website where you can feature any type of content like blog posts, podcast episodes, eBooks, pages, and so much more. And just to confuse things even further, you can even include a Squarespace course inside a member site. Basically, you can take anything that you've already created in Squarespace and you can put it into a members-only area on your website. Your customers can then pay a one-time fixed amount, a subscription fee, or even get free access to the membership. And once they've signed up, they'll get their own unique login to this gated content. It's really simple, but because you can essentially gate anything on your website, it can also be really comprehensive. This is also a great option for people still using Squarespace 7.0 as the courses feature is only available to those with 7.1. In order to have a membership site on your Squarespace website, you'll need to have a Squarespace business plan or above, and that will include 30 minutes of video storage as well as a 9% transaction fee. Now, there are ways to increase that amount of video storage and get that transaction fee down a little bit, but that's going to entail purchasing a digital product add-on subscription through Squarespace, and those plans start anywhere from about $9 per month in addition to your regular Squarespace website subscription. Depending on which one of those plans that you choose, you can get anywhere from 10 additional hours of video storage to an unlimited amount of video storage. And you can also get those transaction fees down to even 0%. You do always have the option of hosting your videos via a YouTube or Vimeo link versus uploading them directly from your computer. And in that case, Squarespace doesn't limit the amount of video content you can have on your website, so you wouldn't need to purchase any of those additional digital product add-ons. However, if that 9% transaction fee is really important to you, you might consider checking out some of those plans just to see what the options are. If you're interested in finding out even more about member sites, we have a full breakdown of pricing, pros and cons, and exactly how to use it that will be linked below this video. Now, as we mentioned earlier, one of the biggest drawbacks to Squarespace courses or course-specific softwares is the price tag. So if you simply just don't have it in your budget to use these features, but still wanna keep everything on your website, then creating a password-protected page for your course might be the best alternative for you. If you have a simple digital course or even a free course, using a password protected page on Squarespace can be a really great option. Essentially, to create something like this on your website, you would just need to add a blank page to your pages panel, give it a new name that is relevant to your course, and you can then add all of your course content to the page and then head into settings where you can set a password for that page. You can then send that password to anybody who signs up or purchases your course. The biggest downside to this method is that everybody then has to log in with the same password, which can definitely decrease the security of your course. And if the password were to ever be leaked, you would have to then manually share the new one with your customers. But unless you have hundreds or thousands of customers, that might not be that big of a deal. So if you are just starting out with your business and really can't invest in any software right now, this can be a really great place to begin. Another really cool way to utilize this method is to actually password protect an entire blog page. If your course is going to be reasonably large, you could then separate your modules or lessons into different blog posts. You can then password protect the main blog or course page so that when customers enter in their password, they'll see all of the different modules, aka blog posts, and they can click through them to see content. In this case, the customer only needs to enter in their password once to see all of the course content, whereas if you were to spread your course out between multiple regular pages, they'll have to enter in their password going into each new page. So this blog method is a lot more streamlined and convenient if you want to split up all of your content into different lessons. Now, unfortunately, this password protected option doesn't come with an automatically built in payment plan. However, Squarespace makes it really easy to add as every Squarespace site has the ability to have a built in e commerce store. So to add this to your site, all you need to do is add a new store to your pages panel and add a new digital download product. And here you can fill out all of the basic details of your course. So the name, the price, etc. And here where it tells you to upload a file, we recommend recommend uploading a basic PDF or document of some kind that gives people the URL to your course password protected page and of course the password to log in. This way, when someone purchases your item via your brand new shop, they'll be sent this document immediately via email
email. They can open up the document, read your instructions, and gain access to the course right away. And just like the other two options, we also have a full video tutorial walking you through how to create a password-protected page on your website, which you can find linked below this video. All in all, if you're already using Squarespace to host your website, then also hosting your course on Squarespace is probably going to be the most straightforward and streamlined way to go, as long as the option you choose has all the features you need. So as a little reminder, let's recap everything we just went through. Squarespace Courses is an included feature on most plans, and it does save you a lot of time and stress by keeping everything under one roof. It's really perfect if you have a structured course with a lot of modules or lessons. You could also choose to host your course in Squarespace member sites if you'd rather build it out on other types of pages and have a bit more flexibility with the structure and the delivery of things. Or if both of those options are just a bit too pricey and you're just starting out, hosting your course on a password protected page or blog could be a great and simple option for you. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did like this video, check out this one next and make sure to subscribe because we put out new tech and small business videos like this all the time. So hopefully we'll see you in the next one.